A movie about unemployment amongst the working class. Well, this is oddly topical right now. Working Man is brought to us by first-time writer-director Robert Jury. We follow Allery, played by Peter Garrity, a senior citizen age factory worker who, due to the factory he works at closing, finds himself unemployed for the first time in his life. But he's not alone because it seems like a whole lot of people in this small town worked at that factory. And now a lot of people in the town, Allery included, don't know what to do with themselves. There's apparently not that many other jobs in this town, so they're all left wondering how are we going to make ends meet? It never really outright says it, but you kind of get the idea that Allery doesn't really need to go to work, financially at least. He's probably got like retirement or something he can fall back on, and his wife, played by the amazing Talia Shire, aka Adrian, is clearly excited at the opportunity for him to be spending more time at home. But hanging out at home all day is not what Allery's wanting to do. No, he's a guy who has worked his whole life, much of it probably at this factory, and that's what he wants to do. He wants to work. That is part of who he is. It's what he is. He wants to go to work and earn a living. So one morning, even though he doesn't have a job anymore, that's what he does. He goes to work. He packs his lunch, he gets dressed, and he walks to work just like he's done God knows how many times over the years. On his way there, all the people that were unemployed that used to work at the factory see him from their houses and are wondering, what the hell's this guy doing? He arrives at the factory and no surprise, it's all locked up. But not one to be easily deterred, Allery breaks in and goes to work. From here, things grow. Some of the other workers start to come to work with him every day and slowly as more and more of them come they decide to just take over the factory and start filling orders that weren't filled before the factory closed. The town, the media, and the corporate office that owns the factory start to take notice and while the owners want these people out of their closed factory they know that with the media sitting there watching every move they can't really go in there with the police in force. And that's the setup of the movie. It doesn't really sound like anything grand and that's because it's not. Now that doesn't mean it's not good it's just not anything grand. This is a small movie with a really powerful message. It's a great portrait of how losing what you've always had and done can leave you feeling purposeless. Allery and the other characters in this movie aren't going to the factory every day to get paid. I mean, money does eventually come up in the story in one way, but that's not what they initially are going for. They're going every day to feel as if they have purpose. People need to work for something to feel as if they have purpose and meaning. And this movie does a great job of illustrating that. The events of this movie are pretty damn inspiring, while at the same time remaining very grounded and real. Now this is a slow burn. This movie is not fast in the slightest. It takes its time for you to get to know all the players in it. But it does that so well and you get such great character development from these wonderful characters that you don't mind at all. Seeing as how this is such a slow burn and it does focus on those character moments so much, one of the things that truly lets that shine is the absolutely fantastic performances we get from our leads. Peter Garrity does a fucking phenomenal job here. This is a very subtle performance for a great deal of the film. But even with such a quiet and subdued character, you feel every bit of emotion that comes from this powerhouse performance. And when he does come out of his shell and open up, oh fuck man, where's this guy been? Talia Shire does a fantastic job as Allery's wife. She plays a very timid character who you can really tell is very worried about her marriage. And worrying about your marriage at an older age like this has to be really distressing. We don't get quite as much of her as we do some of the other characters, so she's not able to really show as much range as they do. But when she is there and she shows off her talent, we're reminded while she's been in this business for decades. The other main player in the movie would be Walter, played by Billy Brown. And much like Gary, this guy is on fire. Brown's Walter is a layered, interesting contrast to Allery. And the friendship that these two develop is absolutely believable due to these two powerhouse performances. All around though, the performances in this movie are all really good. Now there's a thing with these types of movies that we all know to expect. I call it the gut punch. You could call it the tear jerk or the big cry or you know what I mean, that moment. When you're watching a movie and there in the beginning you can just tell there's gonna be a moment, probably closer to the end, that's really gonna go hard for the tears. More times than not, these moments seem very manufactured and unearned. Filmmakers will put things into these movies that don't affect the overall story, but are there purely to make you cry, just so that they can say, oh, look, you had an emotional reaction to our movie. And this movie is one of those, as far as in the beginning, while you're watching it, you say to yourself, yep, 
there's going to be a moment in this movie. And there is, but it's not how you initially expect it, nor is it the focus or the center of the movie. Their purpose here is not to make you cry. However, that moment does have very strong relevance to one of the characters that is integral to the story as a whole. It's one of the biggest driving forces behind this character's action. And it's also a huge part of how this character has come to be the way that they are. So in other words, it's earned. It means something when we get to it. It's also not at the end of the movie like you expect. It just happens at one part in the movie and you're like, oh, whoa, okay, that was early. And when it does happen, seeing as how it has been earned and it is concerning characters that we've gotten to know and care about, holy shit, it hits hard. Hard. I'm not a crier when it comes to movies. I mean, I'm not emotionless. I do feel things. But it's rare that a movie will get me choked up. I mean, I can sympathize and feel sad about events that take place in movies, but I rarely get very choked up about them. But this one was tough. Real tough. And even though it was a deeply affecting emotional moment, and it was absolutely integral to the story and earned, I never felt as if this was the movie's purpose to do this. I never felt like they were trying to squeeze tears out of me so they could be like, Aha! You cried at our movie! That means you have an emotional connection to our characters and we did a good job! No, not at all. Much like the overall tone of the movie, it just felt very genuine. Something else I really liked about this movie is the way that it ended. It didn't come off as cliched or cheap or what you expect or anything like that. Nor was it a situation where everyone wins. That absolutely does not happen. It was unexpected and very real, which is what a lot of this movie is a very realistic uplifting movie. I really enjoyed this film and it left me feeling pretty damn good in the end. It's a slow burn but it's got some great character growth throughout its interesting story. It's got some fantastic performances and it's told in a very genuine real way. And in my opinion it's totally worth a rent. All he wanted was hey, this. I have to return some videotape. <laughs> This was a really great character-driven movie. And while you're probably not gonna wanna watch this one more than once, that one time is gonna be a really great time and it's gonna leave you feeling pretty damn good in the end. So there it is, guys, my review of Working Man. If you enjoyed and want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy, Orlando. The thing is, a person needs a job to survive, but you need work to feel like you're worth something. I think this movie had a great message about having purpose and not just wanting to go to work for money, but because you need purpose in your life. And I find it kind of funny that when I came across this movie, I, for the first time in my life, am temporarily unemployed. By choice though. And while I do think that what Allery does in this movie is very noble and just so honorable, there is no fucking way I would go back to my job that I just left in a situation like this. Fuck that. They can go to hell for all I care.